what's happening, Magnesites, and I'm back. God damn it. Now, this is another Magnus Answers, and um, before I get into this one, one of you wrote me, and you basically asked a question of me and Sarah, and I'm um, sorry I haven't done video reply yet, but what I need to do is get with her, and she's been busy. Her mother's in the hospital. She had knee replacement, so she's stuck really taking care of the house and her dog and all these other things. So she hasn't been able to really get down here to see me. So when she does get down here to see me, I will do your video, just so you know, okay? So I expect it to be probably, I don't know, maybe even by the end of this week, maybe next week, okay? All right, now, let's go on with this one, all right? Now, it's titled Shy vs. Arrogant, but I've read it already, and it really should have been... In, you know, titled introverted versus extroverted, but um, it says I'm really shy, and I've been shy my whole life. Being shy is starting to affect my self-esteem, and I feel like it's ruining my life. I usually don't talk to other people unless they talk to me first. My friends and co-workers think I'm stuck up. I don't get it, because I'm really nice. Just because I'm not outgoing, um, others think I don't like them or I'm mad, or I'm upset or something. I try to smile more often, but it doesn't seem to help. I don't want to act fake to impress other people. So how do I change this? Came to the right place. I'll tell you this, I used to be kind of introverted and shy when I was younger. Believe it, right? Um, here's the thing. I saw your picture, you're clearly, you, you appear to be at least, you know, you grown, okay? So, you at the job, and you're a shy person. If you want to get out of this shyness, first, first of all, arrogant is not the opposite of shy. It's like a total different spectrum of extrovert, you know what I mean? It's like, it's extra, you know, it's an extraness. You just want to be a little bit more outgoing versus shy, okay? If you're one of those people that they think is stuck up, then you may not be one of those people that speaks all the time. Now, you know, this is big. And I saw your picture, you're black. Now, you know, this is big with black people. You know, we have an issue if you don't speak. You know, we'll talk about you right behind your back. Like, she don't even fucking speak. What the fuck is her problem? You know that. Now, if you don't speak, it looks like you think that people may be below you. Or you don't like people, you just here to do your job, which is fine, you're here to make money, but co-workers like to get along, you know. A lot of businesses, like even my job, they treat things kind of family-like, you know, we're all cool with each other. When it's people's birthdays or certain things, you know, people send cards, you know, it's, it's, it's really cool over there. So, what you're going to want to do, I believe, is first start speaking to people. When you see them in the hallways, say hi and smile. Practice smiling in the mirror. Just practice smiling until you got it down pat to where it don't look fake. Like, I know people that take pictures, and when they take pictures, they just look like this. You know, like, no, don't do that. Look like you smile, like you, you're having a good time. Like, you posing, all right, cheese. Just look like you want to smile, you know what I mean? Like, you having a good time. So if you see somebody, right, you walking down the hallway, all right, so they say, hello, how are you? You play, hey, how you doing? You know what I mean? You just keep it moving. You know what I mean? So practice that. Make sure you're speaking to people. You ain't got to speak to them five, six times a day. When you see people speak, okay? Good morning. Good afternoon. How you doing today? Hey, you know, call them by their name. You got what I'm saying? That lets them know you remember their name, that you know them, that you're making them more personal when you call them by their names. If you're at, in a break room and there's break room conversation, okay? What you may want to do is interject. You know, you may want to jump in. You know what I mean? Like if they talking about something that happened yesterday and you know about it, yeah, that was crazy. You know what I mean? Boom. Then they're like, oh, I thought they, you were shy. Now you're not. So then you get to get in the conversation and you get, you know, they get to see who you really are. You got what I'm saying? I, I think that's the most that you can do at work. If you work with a, a certain amount of people, in, un, like if you just sit a cubicle and you only do your paperwork all day long, you don't really get to talk to people, that's when you're going to want to speak to people throughout the day. But 
if you're in a group environment where you have to really, you know, get what maybe you should, uh, when you have to interact with people all day long, like my job's kind of like that, okay, so you can go and you can compliment people on stuff. You know what I'm saying? You can say, those are some nice shoes. Yo, that's a nice shirt. That's a nice suit. I like your hair today. That's really nice. You got what I'm saying? You compliment people. You talking about their most favorite person. That. You got what I'm saying? And this is this is a lot of things I learned from sales. But see, I used to be introverted, right? But I was always the type. Once you get to know me, you was like, oh, that's a wild boy. You got what I'm saying? But now I will talk to people on the street. Now I will start up conversations depending on the situation and where I'm at. So when I first started, like I was waiting tables. Waiting tables pulled me out of my fucking shell. I was so scared to go to that first table. Once I got there and I took their order, I was like, that wasn't that bad. So then I get used to meeting all these different people and speaking to different people. And you know, been like in the car sales and now selling suits and now sold suits and now I'm selling security systems. I'm just out there now. And you see, I'm acting and all that. I mean, it pulled me right out of my fucking shell. I brought talents to the surface I never knew I had. You know, winning IMTA competition, actor of the year, 2012, New York City. You got what I'm saying? Think about that. Going from an introvert to that. You got what I'm saying? So you probably got a lot of hidden talents and stuff inside of you you didn't even know you had. You got what I'm saying? So, okay. So you're introverted, you're shy, but you know that you're a very nice person. If you got get a pen and pad, write down everything, all the points that I said, you need to speak to people, smile more, make sure your smile is genuine. And you said you don't want to fake it. What is the saying in the business world? Fake it till you make it. It's kind of like, all right, you need to spend a little bit more extra money, maybe get the suit and the haircut that you need, and maybe buy the car that you may need to look successful, learn the jargon that you need to, to sound successful because what happens is your mind, your subconscious starts to create you in the, the form that you want to be. It sees where you want to go so it finds ways to make you get there. So while you may be kind of faking it, it's, 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 I mean, we fake stuff a lot of times in, you know, all out throughout our lives. You know, you, you extra nice to the bill collector or public service or credit card company, even though you don't want to be fucking nice. You sitting there getting to know a guy at dinner. You may be, you may fake like you a little bit more interested in what he's talking about. You may laugh a little bit more at jokes that really ain't that fucking funny. You faking it until you make it, until you get to where you need to get to. All right? Don't, cut, don't think of it as just being this fake shell of a person. You're being real because you're trying to become more outgoing. You're trying to get to a certain place. There are some people that are just fake for no fucking reason. I know people like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, why? Why are you doing this, you know? Sometimes it's like to get to these devious means, you know what I'm saying? I can tell you're not a devious person. So, like I said, you're not really being fake. You're just trying to, see, I, I, I read a quote the other day, and it said, your happiness is right outside your comfort zone. Mm. I've read another one before that said that your success is right outside of your comfort zone. You see what I'm saying? Think about it. Introvert, I went to, um, Best actor of the year. You got what I'm saying? Now, well, this could really blow up for me. But if I never stepped out of my comfort zone to learn the talents that were hidden inside of me, then what the fuck? Then I'm just back there wondering what I could have been, should have been, all that type of shit. The same thing with you. This could open up so many new avenues for you. You could open up a better job for you, becoming more um, extroverted. You could make more friends. You can invite it to more things. You could get um, more gentlemen callers asking you out. You got what I'm saying? Because you know what? When you look shy and introverted, also, men aren't always interested in you. Sometimes the crazy ones are because they know that they can control you. A really controlling iron fist type of man they can control a really introverted, shy woman. I've seen it before, trust me. They tell them to shut up, shut the fuck up, make me a sandwich, you do what I tell you to do, I'm the man, I handle this. You know what I mean? They're really overbearing. But if you're a confident woman, you're outgoing, you smile, he knows that there's more men that want you. He ain't gonna treat you like that, trust me. 
you're gonna have the pickings. You're gonna have you're gonna pick be able to pick from a lot of men because men love confidence. Okay? And trust me, trust me, coming up, I got a few friends that are pretty confident as women friends, and it's funny too. The more confident of the woman, I'm thinking of the most confident girl that I know, like she, you know what I mean? Yeah, dudes, dudes was on her. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna end it on that. I see that I went to different categories there, but I'm just trying to get you to see the advantages of you coming out of your shell. You're gonna learn more, you're gonna meet people, you're gonna come in opportunities and situations you never had before. Trust me on this one, all right? You got any more questions? Hit me up. I will talk to y'all later.